Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The market is rising after today on Monday into Tuesday. We need to talk about what happened over the last 24 hours to make the market rise in all these different areas and especially talk about how that could be impacting what happens today with content. Uh, with U UCL, UEFA Marquee matchups possibly coming out. What happened yesterday with content, especially with the Conmi Bowl and Sudamerica League SBCs that were uh, a mess. So we're going to talk about that for a little bit as well and even what that means for the game. But of course, just looking at prices on this market. So if you bought things, if you were buying cards on Sunday night around the squad battle reward time frame or just before, a lot of stuff that you may have picked up uh, has risen whether it was these new rule breaker cards that are in packs uh, until today these rule breaker cards go out of packs today at 6 p.m on tuesday right yeah that's the drill 6 p.m today on tuesday these cards go out of packs which is really really crazy uh, now these cards are really supplied compared to set one but a lot of people are investing in them and that was very very ob obvious today i'm going to take a look at some of these cards really fast with you and just look across the market in general and just show you how much some of these prices have gone up in the past 24 hours even. Uh, just showing you that a lot of people are getting invested. And I honestly think that's what's making the market rise. It's not really people that are actually going out and trying cards. Because what is there to do midweek, right? We're still in that time frame where Monday to Wednesday, there's really not rivals to play. And there's not a competitive game mode to grind. Because of course, if you play weekend league, that means that your rivals games are probably done. So you don't have any games to play of rivals uh, during Monday to Wednesday time frame. And you're doing objectives. So... A lot of why I think the market is rising today and why it rose yesterday is because people are investing. That's right. People with Patreons, um, Discords, just foot traders, right? And so much of what we've seen in the market this year is traders selling to other traders. That's why icon trading is a lot different this year, um, except for on the weekends with Weekend League. Um, but it really seems like a lot of times this year, people are investing, right? And then the prices go up because a lot of people buy the card and they invest in that item. And sometimes it's just traders selling to traders on this game. And I think that's going to be another instance of what happens this week as we do look through some of these prices. Now, I want to take a look at some of these like um, these rule breaker cards over here on Footbin because it's honestly mad how much some of these cards have risen up. So, again, I think a lot of people, a lot of people out there were thinking, hey, these cards are going to be a buy since they go out of packs on Tuesday. These cards are going to be a buy on Sunday night with squad battle reward supply. And this is what happened right here. They did. A lot of these cards hit their lowest on late Sunday night, early Monday morning for the Rule Breakers team too. To share was 293,000 coins on the PlayStation and 266 on the Xbox. And now he is up to 330 on the Xbox and 345 on the PlayStation. So honestly, you've seen such a big rise on some of these cards already. On a guy like this who's 83 rated, we know the Rule Breaker set two team as a whole is a lot more supplied than the rest. Or a guy like Van Anhold who was 140, is now is 162. Some of the cards are still decently low, like Podence, right? Depending on if Jota gets in team of the week or not. This card might rise a little bit out of packs, of course. But I'm just a little bit worried on a lot of the stuff on the market today. A lot of it was invested in last night at Squad Battle Rewards. And that wasn't just people going out and buying teams. That was people going out, buying cards to put on their transfer list and to try to make coins with. So again, one of the mantras that we have talked about this year and one of the things that we have kind of uh, lived upon this year is the quick flip, right? So we a lot of times, even the past couple of weeks, we've bought cards on Sunday nights headed into squad battle rewards. Like again, Lukaku was 330, went up to 350. He's, he's now back at 350. So he didn't have as crazy of a rise as some of these other cars did. Um, but a lot of people were buying up this to share it. This Royce was under 400. Pogba was 850. Now he's 935. Di Maria was almost 300K. Even a guy like Jimenez is up like 10,000 coins. So I really think that if you bought these cards, especially to share it, man, I think this car is overpriced for how low rated it is. And just how high the pack weight was for these cards. I know that everybody is thinking about Rule Breaker Set 1. And they're thinking, man, these cards were barely packable. Nobody was, was getting them in their weekend league rewards, opening promo packs. Um, but of, co of course, right now we don't have big promo packs out. But the Rule Breaker Set 2 had over a 1% pack weight from like the 50k packs that were out. And that was a lot higher pack percentage than Rule Breaker Set 1. So I think some people in this game are expecting Rule Breaker 2 set cards uh, to be just as rare as Rule Breaker set one. And I don't honestly think 
that that's going to be the same thing. So you can kind of risk it for the biscuit if you want to with these cards and hold on to them and see if they do rise out of packs. Uh, but again, since there's a lot of question marks in what's happening later this week, I honestly, if you bought Teixeira at 300K and you're selling now at 345 or 350, I would probably take the coins in all honestly, just because so many things happen in the market this year because a lot of it is trading focused. If people are invested in cards like this and the rest of the market went up today as well, a lot of gold cards went up. Um, even though we had we had a pack supply SBC today, man. Usually when we have pack supply SBCs, that means the market drops. We had a pack supply SBC today, and that just goes to show you how much people were investing today because we had one of these SBCs that usually drops prices on the market, but in turn, it actually... I can't even find the SBC. Where's it at? Right here. Odd one out. This gold players pack SBC is tradable today and the market still went up. All right. The gold cards still went up, at least a lot of the meta ones, which is kind of crazy to think about because usually this caused the market to go down, which is weird. Uh, but that just goes to show you that there was a lot of investing that was happening today. Now, could that all get reversed on Tuesday? R really today? Uh, I think it's very possible. Of course, we do know UEFA Marquee Matchups is going to be coming out. More games being played in Champions League today. Possibility of Road to the Final coming this weekend. So that's why if you're in the big profit, like a guy on Teixeira, or maybe there's another out of packs inform or a ones to watch card, right? If it's a ones to watch card, you can hold this until Wednesday with Team of the Week. And I'll come back to those in a second. But even if you bought an out of packs inform, Renato Sanchez, right? This guy has got a lot of people invested in him right now. He's 217. But look at his graph, right? Sunday, he was 150. The Denayer SBC comes out. He goes up to 180. And then he shoots up in the middle of the night to 216. He actually went over like 230,000 coins, went back down to 190, and has now been continually rising. I know this card is cracked out. I know it's a very good center mid. And it does link to possible players coming out in this upcoming team of the week. But some of the stuff I do feel like is just a bit over invested, especially on the special card uh, range. Now, a lot of people also went out and bought uh, out of packs in forms and even in packs team of the week cards. You saw a lot of those rise. Um, St. Maximum was 315. Now he's back up to 340. Upa Meccano was down in the 250s, 240s. He's now in the 270s. Um, it's just a lot of these cards have gone up a lot. Uh, since the weekend league sell-off ended and since we started into this new week. But again, that still does not make sense to me because a lot of people have to be investing if these cards are rising so much because there's no demand, no natural demand in the midweek. So let's talk about ones to watches for a second though. There's a lot of ones to watch activity going on right now with stuff that cards that could get in team of the week, cards that might not get in. Bale with getting subbed on in like the what, 60th or 70th minute, he did score the game winning goal. One goal as a sub. EA could very easily put him in team of the week. If any ones to watch is that you're holding. So I think this refers to Semedo, Thomas Partey, and Gareth Bale, I think are the main three, and Hakimi, or Hakim Ziyech. Uh, I would sell almost all of these cards into the content drop on Wednesday when the team of the week would come out. Now, of course, what we see is uh, Tuesday night, even into Wednesday already in the morning time, these cards will start to move around. If Gareth Bale is in team of the week, you will start to see his card rise up Tuesday night into Wednesday morning as people get leaks, right? And you're going to see this card continually to rise, to rise and to rise. Now he is like the most hyped up item, in my opinion, that could get a team of the week this week from ones to watch. I would say it's between him and Semedo. Semedo's 180. That's crazy. If this guy gets an upgrade, he's going to be a pretty saucy card, but just be careful with this stuff. I honestly would sell them all, take your guaranteed profit and sell them into the hype right before team of the week would come out. That's your best bet. In my opinion, if you have any of these cards still, and let's say there's, there's like what, four or five ones to watches in question this week, half of them, like maybe say two of them get in. The other three are probably going to get panic sold down and there's going to be a great opportunity to pick those up and then buy them back for a rebound as after the panic selling ends. So kind of keep that in mind for a Wednesday time frame as well. Um, that is something that we definitely could see. Now, looking back again, I want to talk about this yet because I have not mentioned this. The league SBCs that were released today. This is a very scary thing from EA Sports because this means that a lot of the league SBCs that could be released in the future might also uh, contain untradeable pack rewards. And that is why I think they got taken down so quickly today. 
Now, in the league, it's not over here in the store anymore, but there was a league tab in the SBC section, and what it said was um, that the was it the Sudamerica or Connibal, one of the two, those, the 86 plus pack and the three times 83 rated players that we had in the code last week or two weeks ago, those were going to be the rewards for that SBC and some of the packs inside were untradeable and that caused a stir because usually league SBC packs are always tradable and it's just a lot of, it's a great way for people to grind tradable packs during promos, during team of the year. League SBCs aren't cheap, so I don't understand why EA made some of those packs untradeable. So hopefully them uh, taking them off of the game, they said here, players who have completed, even if partially the SBC group, will get the committed items returned to their clubs. Stay tuned for updates. I would not expect an answer on this anytime soon. This stuff takes a while for EA to sort out because a lot of people start doing league SBCs like this. And even though they took the SBCs down, like it was like 30 or 45 minutes after they were released, that's a lot of work that they're going to have to go and do. So we will see what happens with this. Hopefully they just re-release it with all tradable packs and then all will be right and all will be well inside of FIFA. So that'll be great, right? That'll be great. That's all we want and ask for EA Sports. Some people today on Twitter were saying, oh, if they did that, it would crash the market. We got a pack supply SBC today and nothing happened. Nothing happened. It's not going to crash the market every time, all right? And those SBCs being in the store, yeah, maybe day one or day two, it does cause the market to dip because people are opening those packs because it's hype and it's like these SBCs just came out. But over the long term, it's not going to cause that much of an issue in terms of the market dropping on a daily basis or like making the market absolutely die. It's not going to do that. Not yeah, it's, it's not going to do that. That SBC would not do that at all. If all the packs were tradable, it would not have that effect. I know it's early on the game, but I saw some people talking about that today. I do not think that those SBCs, if they're all released tradable, will crash the market. So hopefully they do re-release those as tradable packs and we will be happy. But speaking again of tradable packs, today should be UEFA marquee matchups. Uh, the one SBC, of course, that was here from last week is going to be expiring today on Tuesday. We will be getting another one of these. Now, are we going to get like the UCL upgrade packs? We haven't seen those yet. And that's like the only thing that's actually in the game code that I think has been tweeted by Footwatch that we haven't seen yet. The UCL upgrades, whether it's the, the what is it, two times 81 plus, three common, three rare, or whatever the other UCL packs were that were actually put out in the code. We haven't seen those yet. So um, that could possibly come today, I guess. We probably will get UEFA marquee matchups again with tradable pack supply. If you're thinking about buying Thursday flips, I know some people are looking to buy these earlier rather than later because I know a lot of people are starting to buy these Thursday flipping investments a, a lot earlier than normal. If you're buying a Thursday flip investment and it's an out of packs in form, let's say like Roberto Firmino is your Thursday flip investment that you want to buy because you think he's going up. Right now he is 230,000 coins. He was like 220 last night. He's already up a little bit. If you're buying an out of packs in form and there's a lot of panic today on Tuesday, that is the only type of card for a Thursday flip that I would want you guys putting your coins into on Tuesday before Wednesday. I usually buy all my Thursday flips on Wednesday, regardless of the week, just because I usually can find some deals right before rewards. And that's a good time to buy some cards. So that's why I would usually wait. But if some of you guys don't want to wait, and especially if you want to buy some out of packs in forms, uh, you can definitely go through this these this list on Flipin, go through some of these team of the weeks. And if there is some stuff that gets panic sold from the 6 to 8 p.m. range uh, on Tuesday today with whatever content comes out, that will be a great time to pick up on some of these cards, especially again, if they're really meta. And if they do drop back down near the prices that they were on Sunday, that's kind of what I would look for. If you're looking for panic selling on a card today on Tuesday with whatever content comes out, look for a card to reach that price that it did on Sunday, right? So St. Maximin hit a low of like 320 squad battle rewards. He was right around the 320K range. If you see this guy back down in the low to mid 320s and there's no, I guess there is the prospect of another left mid coming out in team of the week with Jota, but Jota's card would have nowhere near as hype, as much hype as this card because that's, you know, this is French. It's Alan St. Maximin, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. He's got the hype, right? So I don't think there's really any card unless EA throws somebody in crazy from team of the week that would make this drop, um, at least right now. So just, just watch the panic selling today. If there's any sort of panic selling around 6 p.m. UK on out of packs informs, that could be something that you do 
uh, del delve your coins into, I guess, if you wanted to. And even if it's an a inform from this week's team of the week, like a Zaha, a Gomez, a Paulinho, today would probably be a decent day to look at picking up some of these cards as well as an out of packs investment because this would technically be their last day of supply and possibility for them to get supplied on the market. So just kind of watch out for that. I know that that rule breakers is technically over. And unless EA is going to really hype up the next promo, whatever it may be, or if they're going to re-release rule breakers into packs, uh, if they are going to re-release rule breakers like both teams into packs for the rest of this week or for a certain amount of time, then you would see some panic selling today. But I feel like we get that information from EA today as well. If this rule breakers promo is just done and finito after today, then I do think uh, you will probably see a loading screen at least maybe on Thursday if there is another promo coming. I don't think they drop a loading screen on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, possibly Wednesday, but most likely Thursday for a new promo. So we'll kind of be searching out whatever happens after today will give us an idea on what's going to be happening Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week, hopefully. So again, Tuesday, big day on the market. UEFA marquee matchups again for a Champions League week. If you are like making a lot of coins on some of your investments, you would have made last night around squad battle rewards. I would be tempted to, to take the cash, especially uh, if it is some of those rule breakers who I do feel like are a little bit over invested in. Now, some of the gold cards bounce back up today as well. That could be something that could take a hit today with whatever content comes out on Tuesday. Uh, so maybe you take the profit on some of those as well and then look to reinvest during a little bit of, I guess, supply or panic selling for Thursday flips, either today on Tuesday late or tomorrow on Wednesday when we do a predominant amount of our Thursday flips. So that's the video for today, boys. I just want to kind of come and talk about just what the freak is going on with the market right now because, uh, oh baby, and as I'm recording this and finishing this off, we have a foot watch tweet of an, this looks like the, what were these, what were these called last year? Uh, player moments, I mean, the player moments SBC card. Nice. So maybe we're going to be getting an SBC today, a player moments SBC on Tuesday as our content. So just be careful with that. That might be some of our content. That's kind of a similar card design to last year, but I think it looks pretty good. So maybe we'll see our first ever player moments SBC related to Champions League today. And uh, we'll see what kind of, we will see what kind of content that brings for us on our Tuesday and what kind of market movements that brings for us as well. So I'm glad I caught that foot watch tweet right at the end. Should be an interesting couple days on foot. If you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.